Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. So in my last video, we have created this title component which displays the default page title. But there was no way to customize this title of the page. So we will create a dialog box so that an author can edit this title of the page. So in this video, we will create a dialog box table so that author will be able to edit this page title component and can enter a custom title. So go to the CXD console. Let's open our project, which is training. Now open your components. In the content folder, we have this title component. So here I will create a dialog box. So in this video, I will create touch, touch optimized dialog box. So to do that, so now let's open the list folder. I'm going to lips, WCM, foundation component. So these are the foundation components and I'm going to the title component. Let's copy the CQ dialog. This is touch UI dialog. Copy it and come to our title component and paste here. Now save it. In touch UI dialog, the root node name of your dialog will be CQ underscore dialog. And uh, let's open this property window. So let's remove this title. Let's keep it V10 title. And save it. You can give it any name. And navigate to the lowest node. So here we have two nodes, which is title and type. I don't need this type field, so I'm deleting this. Save it. So in the title, we have text field and it has field label as title and description as leave empty to use the page title. And uh, this is the name. This is the variable which using this name, the value of the text will be saved within the page. And the source type is text field. So save it and now go to our page, refresh this. Now come here, double click it. Now go to the edit mode. Now you can see even I am in the edit mode, but, but I'm not able to edit this component, title component. I'm double clicking it, but it is not editable right now. So, so to make it editable, let's create one node. So create, create node and give it edit config. CQ underscore edit config. And type should also be cq underscore edit config. Now click on OK, save it. Let's see, it should now become editable. So refresh it. I'm in edit mode. And now, now here you can see we got this layout of blue lines. So double click it. So this is the title, which is our field level. It is coming from the field level. Let me show you. So this is a field level. Field level is title. So here you can see the title. And this is a text field, which was our resource type. And uh, JCR title is the name. So whatever value I will enter and uh, after, click going, after clicking on this confirm. So this value will be saved in the page, within the page node itself with this name and this is a description leave empty to use so it will come here so this is a description so let's suppose i am saving it as en so click on ok here you can see it has been changed so this is how you can author the component using dialog box so let's go to a cxd and refresh it so now go to your content folder where your page lies now go to the vtrain page we have en so in the jcr content of en page so come to the title component here you can see this is a jcr underscore title and uh, its values en so this value has been saved within the en jcr content node then let's do it i am keeping it english again click on ok this has been changed go here and refresh this you can see the value has been changed so i hope you understand how you can create a dialog box and how to make your component authorable 
Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel and keep watching. Thanks again for watching.